Hello, this is an introduction for Psalm 148. This is another hallelujah or praise psalm, a psalm that honors God, and boasts about the power and creative nature of God, the sovereignty of God. And this psalm is very simple. It basically calls all creation, the universe, everything above and below to worship God. And so we have to ask ourselves, why is God calling everything created, everything living, to worship him? Because there is a great benefit in worship. Psychologists have done studies and they've seen that people that can connect to the transcendent, be in awe of the divine, become spiritually minded and lose themselves in something greater than themselves, have the best mental health. And so science is even proving the need to worship God, to honor God, to express gratitude, to develop a sense of awe, to, to develop a sense of wonder and transcendence, a sense of appreciation for the divine. And so I'm just going to read through this psalm and it's going to display, it's going to uh, really illuminate just how everything in the world is to praise God. Let's read it together. Verse 1, Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Verse 2. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his heavenly angels. Hosts, everything in heaven surrounding the throne praises God. Verse 3, praise him, sun, moon, praise him, all you shining stars. So all the universe, all the galaxies, praise God. Verse 4, praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. So everything that's out there that we can see in our universe, everything beyond is to worship God. Verse 5, let them praise the name of the Lord, for he has, at his command, they were created. So everything created is created to honor God, to give him 3G, give God glory. Think about that. 3G, give God glory. Verse 6, that he established them, that means the heavens and the earth, forever and ever he issued a new decree that will never pass away. Even when he destroys the heaven and earth, he will provide a new heaven and a new earth. And then verse 7, Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures, and all the ocean depths. So the heavens praise God, and the earth praises God. Verse 8, Praise the Lord, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds, and do his bidding. So weather is to praise God. Interesting. And then verse 9, praise the Lord, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Verse 10, praise the Lord, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds. Verse 11, praise the Lord, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on the earth, all leaders are to praise and honor God. And then verse 12, praise the Lord, young men and women, old men and children. Verse 13, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens. Praise the Lord. Verse 14, and he has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all his faithful servants of Israel. The people close to his heart praise the Lord. The horn was blown as a call to worship for the people to come to the temple to worship the Lord. May we be people of worship. May we be people of praise, people of gratitude. Some discussion questions. How do you benefit from worshiping and praising God? There are spiritual benefits. There are emotional benefits. There are communal benefits to worshiping and praising God. There are mental health benefits to worshiping and praising God. How do you see creation praising God? He's called creation to praise Him. How do you see that? And then what aspects of worship 
are the most meaningful for you? What aspects of worship are the most meaningful for you? May this psalm be a blessing to you. May we meditate on these words and commune with God, draw closer to Him. May there develop within us an intimacy with God so we never feel alone, we never feel abandoned, we always feel provided for, we always sense His comfort, sense His caring, sense His goodness and faithfulness. May God bless you. May you have a tremendous week. We face many challenges in our lives, but may the Word of God be a comfort to your soul. Amen. Bless you.